now recording. I'm gonna raise you up just a little bit too. Okay. Um, all right. So now that that's been done, let me go here to Epic Pen. Oh, I need to go settings, video, borderless. Okay. And audio. I'm gonna turn down the music. Cool. Epic Pen. Okay, um, let's go to profile, replays. Replay for coaching, that looks like good. Six to five. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, you can see Rocket League, right? Can you see this? Yeah, the overlay. Uh, but did you draw it? I haven't drawn anything, but you see Rocket League, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't drawn anything yet. You should here. Like here, now I'm drawn. There we go. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're gonna go here, player view, and take a look. Dig the Fennec. Oh man, you're going up against a season five gold tournament winner. Oh, he's got a high ping now. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything in particular you want me to look at in this replay? Yeah, or you just want me to go for it. Okay, yeah, just rotation. rotation. and recovery. All right. <clears throat> oh, I got something for recovery. Um, you play... Ooh. You're on PC. Good. So that makes it easier. Yeah. Um, remind me, if I forget, there is a Bacchus Mob plugin for recoveries. That's super helpful. And I'll tell you about yeah. that later. <clears throat> so the first thing here, I see right away... Um, where is my mouse? Oh, that's right. I gotta, um, not fly player view, please. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing you need to, uh, that I see that you're not doing is you're not flipping until the end. Oh, you're not even flipping at all. Do you usually not flip at all on kickoff? Uh, sometimes, but I know, uh, I thought that the, uh, will, uh, hit the ball later. At yeah, you did hit the ball later. Um, the reason for that, let me see what this other guy's doing. Uh, let's go to fly. He, uh, he did the ball later. He did. You're right. Oh gosh, your team is just on your ass, dude. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So a uh, couple of things. Um. Other than your teammate not needing to do this at all, you need to flip every single time into the ball. You, technically, you need to be flipping twice. Um, once at kind of the beginning, and then once into the ball. And the one that's the most important that you're going to get the most benefit from is the one into the ball. Um, the reason why you want to flip twice is because you, you know how long it takes for you to get to supersonic if you're like boost and then flip into it. You can get to supersonic pretty quick. And that's kind of the whole point. Um, it 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 uh, conserves boost, so that way, um, you know, like the ball's going this way, right? So let's say he's not over here going this way or whatever. He kind of stalled on the ball with you, and you stalled on the ball here. If you have boost left over from kickoff, you're gonna beat him to that ball. But because you yeah. use all of your boost here. Now it's just kind of a foot race and you're, you don't have any particular advantage. If you were to go over this boost and then flip, you're conserving a little bit of boost because you don't want to, you don't want to boost f through your flip, right? Because then, you know, if your car is pointing like this way and you're using boost, then it's pushing you up. You only want to be using boost to push yourself forward. Um, in like most situations, at least on the kickoff, right? Um, so here, right after you hit this boost pad, you want to flip. And then once your car is facing forward again, you want to use your boost. Um, so then once you get to the ball itself, um, I'll send you a video on this too, a little bit. Um, do you know who Verge is? Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a kickoff video and it, goes into way more detail than what you really need 
but it kind of he explains it a bit better as to why if you so desire that information um, and he also has a couple of different kickoff techniques too that you can use um, but really as long as you flip twice you could even uh, I would recommend doing a diagonal flip here um, and then a front flip into the ball because diagonal flips are a bit quicker um, have fast recoveries so um, that's what I would do here at the beginning and then front flip into the ball. Um, so the exact time when you want to flip here is right as soon as your, um, your back wheel, kind of like your back wheels pass over this boost pad. So um, let me go to like 25% here. Any second now, I believe. Three, come on, four, there you go. So right there is when you want to start doing your flip and you'll diagonal flip straight at the ball and then you're going to front flip into the ball. So the reason why you want to front flip into the ball and that's actually, uh, this is a good example here as to why. So you beat him and the reason why you beat him is because this guy was supposed to go to kick off He's closer to the ball than this guy was, and he just was AFK. So uh, we're going to kind of ignore that fact. But assuming you guys are at the same distance, and you're boosting at the same time, and the trajectory toward the ball is the same, which it pretty much always is on kickoffs, then you're going to hit the ball at the same, same spot. So if you hit it here on the bottom... Um, then it's going to go kind of up, right? And you don't really want it to go up. You want it to go that way. If you guys both hit it here on the bottom, so you're hitting here on the bottom, and he comes over here and hits it on the bottom, then the ball is going to go up, which it more or less does here, right? It goes up because you hit it up, and then he also hit it kind of low. So since you both hit the ball low, it went up. Now, the dangers, if you don't flip, like if he flips and you don't, uh, oh, let's stop that, none, okay. If he, if, he if he even just jumps and you don't, then you're hitting it here and he's hitting it dead center in the ball. Where do you think the ball is going to go? Right to the right. Right, exactly, toward your end. Now, something to think about, it, at this level of play, not so much. But when you get to, like, champion, you're going to want to win the ball back, similar to in soccer or in hockey, or I guess football, sorry, uh, football or hockey, um, uh, winning the ball or the puck back gives your team possession. And so then you can do something with it instead of, you know, of just, like, dumping and chasing which, but at this rank, that's what you want to do. You want to dump and chase. So that's just something to think about for later. But anyway, so um, because your teammate's like on your ass here, right? And now if you're here hitting it low, he's hitting it high, then it's going to go this way. And now you're both here and there's no one back. And they're already facing this way. So all they have to do is go straight for the ball. You have to turn around and go, which takes time. And, that could, and depending on where the ball goes, it can go straight into your net or it could hit your backboard and then it's an easy tap in. So at the very least, you want to make sure that if you're going on kickoff, you hit it in the middle. doesn't matter what angle, if it's on this side of the ball or this side of the ball, just anywhere around this plane here. You want to hit it dead in the center so it goes that way. That's all you care about right now. But I would start practicing the flip and then flip here into the ball to where you hit it dead center and somewhere on the ball to go that way. Because then your car is also facing this way and you could chase because he's going to have to turn around, like I said earlier. So does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great. Sometimes I talk a little too much, so let me know if I'm doing that. Okay, we're going to go continue here. All right. So I'm going to focus on you. I'm not really going to focus on teammate too much. I'll probably complain a little bit. But, no. <laughs> but no, I'm... So look you, so... Yeah. So it's a crash, uh, trash. Mm-hmm. Okay.
so uh, your rotation here is correct um, um, with a caveat. So whenever you're doing solo queue, and even technically, even if you're not solo queuing, uh, I'm guessing you have a buddy you play with often, or do yep. you? A clan. Mm. There you go. So um, whenever you're last man, so here in this situation, you're last, right? You're theoretically in a perfect, perfect storm. He would go out and play and you take that. Um, what does, uh, nice, Milkshake see? What do you think he sees right now? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, oh, well, okay. Like more, more literal though. Yeah, you're not wrong, right? But what do you think he sees? Like, um, what is his camera point of view looking at right now? Mm, to the right corner, so he can't. See yeah, that. it could it could be the right corner if he doesn't have ball cam on. That's correct. Um, what if he if he has ball cam on? What do you think he sees? Mm, if the ball is on top left, he sees yeah. his car. Right, he sees his car. He probably he's gonna see the ball. He might see the enemy uh, or the, one of the blue guys over here somewhere. Um, but more uh, specifically at what I'm getting at here is that he doesn't see you. As yeah. third man, it's your responsibility to kind of make the play. Um, when I say make the play, I mean like um, make the right decision for your team and kind of more or less quarterback going back here is correct um he should have turned but um because he doesn't see you turning he should turn but he also doesn't know if you're in front of him if he's got ball cam i mean let, let, here i'm talking a lot we should just look right um player view what does he see yeah he's got ball cam on so in this case, he doesn't know if you're going for the ball or not. But what I'm getting at is if um, you're the last man and you see everybody and you see the whole play, then it's your job to make that quick decision. So in this case, what do you see him doing? Let me go back to you. What do you see him doing? Uh, he's rotating far post. Right. Okay. So now what should you do? Or what are you going to do? Um, Let's go with that. And I know you know that, but I just, in conversation, I want you to tell me what you're doing here, too. Yeah, I would uh, let him rotate. Okay. And uh, go on the right uh, corner. Right. So you're right also going to rotate in, in behind him, right? That's kind of what you're getting uh, at. Because maybe cutting, uh, it was uh, would be too close to the ball, and uh, he has a better position to clear. Okay. That is correct. So um, that's that's your that's the correct assumption. However, you see him going for the back post. Why do you need to be there too? Right? There's no reason for you to be there because he's he's going to be there. You don't need to cover the same position. Now, and that's kind of like this is like uh, me trying to get you to think a bit big brainer here. That what term? Whatever. I, I need you to think, trying to get you to think more big brain here. So he's going back post. That position is covered. He doesn't know where you are. He probably doesn't know where the ball is, but you know the goal is about to be covered and he can beat you to that position, right? So there's no need for you to do that. So what you can easily do is turn and go for the ball. Yeah. So like I said, in a perfect, perfect rotation, yes, he's coming here and then should go for the ball. And then you come in behind him and cover. But because you guys are pretty far away from the net, it's good for him to play defense. You can immediately go for the ball and put pressure on. And um, also, uh, you're on. Uh, so this is fine here. You're on car cam way too long here. This is fine mm -hmm. for like maybe a second, but you're on here way too long. You need to see. You need to get the information you need, which is. Where's my teammate and what is he doing? And then look back at the ball. You see, my teammate is going to the net. I need to go for the ball here. And he's going to go back post and now you're both here in the net. Which, you know, this rank, kind of whatever.
but it will propel you pretty quick. Um, knowing what your teammate is doing and then doing what you think should could be better. For in this example, what is your teammate doing? He's going to the net. What should he be doing? Kind of in true rotation going for the ball, but he's not going to be able to do that. So you can fill that position. And you kind of do here, right? Like you see that and that's your ball to save or hit away or whatever. Um, but you could have done it slightly early um, or earlier. Here you, uh, did you mean to double jump or did you mean to front flip? I don't know if you remember. It's okay to say you don't remember. Uh, jump into the ball, fl also f flip. Okay, so in that case, um, I don't know if there's a setting here on it. Uh, yes. So, dodge dead zone, I would recommend mm. you play with. Every time that you, you mean to... Uh, so, uh, this is how far your stick needs to move from the center to dodge instead of double jump. So, um, if you mean to um, front flip, put it one tick this, maybe to the left. If you mean to double jump, put it more to the right. Um, and that way that can help a little bit because over time your controllers will actually, that, that'll, um, uh, the mm -hmm. controller will adjust 0. itself. 7. 0. 0.7, yeah, I have mine more to the right and that's because i'm more intention i want to be more intentional i want to say like my stick is all the way if i'm gonna double if i'm gonna front flip my i want my stick to be all the way because that's very intentional otherwise i'm just driving and i don't want to uh, i don't want to dodge when i'm just driving so maybe adjust that a little bit that could be helpful no. um this here is good um i would normally would recommend back post um it's a good uh, it's a good habit of getting into. However, the ball doesn't have a lot of energy on it, and so you don't need to. It, you can get to the ball a bit quicker here, so what you're doing here is fine. Nice touch, good touch. Unfortunately, your teammate here uh, didn't help, and he kind of, you know, left the goal empty. Let's take a look at this real quick here, too. You had a little bit more time, so this was good. Um, it, it was, the idea was correct. You want to go out and play it. Um, the execution, obviously not that hot. You could have waited. Um, the one guy is here in the corner and another guy is over here, all the way back here. You could have waited for the ball to land and then get a power hit off the bounce. That would have been a little yeah. bit better. If you were just a little bit more patient, um, even if you just let your teammate to hit that it would have been a bit better. Because then it's not... Because you're kind of hit, hitting it to the other team right now, right? So, it's just a little bit more poise, realizing, oh, I have time. I can I can do what I want with the ball. Like, you don't have to... You didn't have to rush anything. Another thing... Yeah, that's okay. So, um, one thing that I do want to talk to you about. Uh, do you know who should be doing what? for face-offs uh, left side always uh, drives right that's correct um and the exception is whoever's closer um so if yeah. like you're at the center and he's up on the right yeah so you know that um now for solo queue um i would re highly recommend like if you see your teammate like following hard on kickoffs or um or not obeying the left goes rule at any time during the match, even if he's gonna get there late, just let him take the face off and go back for boost and then cover the net. Like there's no, yeah. if he's gonna be, if he's following at a big distance, then you keep on doing that, that's fine. There's, that's what I do too. Um, but if he's like boosting on your ass, like, He's not, if the, anything happens to the ball, he's not going to be able to do anything to, with it because it's too close. He's not going to be able to react in time. So if you see him doing that kind of stuff, then just let him take all the face-offs. It doesn't matter. Like, whatever. You're here to win. You're not here to, like, re it really do the quote-unquote correct thing. So um, if he's doing this, go back, grab boost, and then go to back post, wait, 
And then if he loses the kickoff, then you know you can go for the um, you can go for the ball and take control, hit it down, whatever you want to do. Again here, okay. So you do flip there. That's good. Yeah. Nice control. That's okay. A little bit slow on that, but you did the right thing. I like the demo. Highly unfortunate your teammate did that. Okay, good defense. Um, yeah, you could say stuff, but it's I don't I don't want to. There, there's too much. I don't want there to be too much to talk about. So, because I, I could be here all day talking about stuff. Uh, okay, okay, rotation. Um, what would have been better here? Um, you turn off ball cam. You see that your teammate's over there. Um. You probably could have turned earlier. Like, as soon as you see it, you would have had to react pretty quick, though. Um, but this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, too. Like, you see your teammate way back playing defense, you can immediately turn again and go on offense. If, um, so my rule of thumb about cutting teammates off is cutting teammates off is fine only if you can do that within a considerable amount of time where he can react. If you cut him off and he can't react to that action in time, then you're doing it too early. Or you're cutting off, sorry, you're cutting him off too late. And you don't need to be cutting him off at all. If you can do it and he sees you do it and can react to that, then that's a good cut. And that's fine. Here, that would have been fine if you did it. So like uh, right here, you turn off ball cam, you see him. Okay, as soon as you're, you're done with your flip, you immediately turn. Another thing that I want you to change is under camera. Oh, it's not here because I'm in this. So there is a uh, transition speed under camera uh, yeah. slider. Um, you need to crank that up to, to the right more. You can tell here. Um, so that's going to change that like this, the movement of the camera, see how it's kind of slow, at least for me. Um, so you need to, you don't need to have it like immediately, like you don't need to put it all the way to the right. I have it like 90% or 80% to the right or something like that. Um, it allows you to uh, get to the viewpoint that you want quicker. You don't really, if you want to see something additional to that, then use your right stick. You don't need to have such a slow transition speed. Okay, good positioning here. I like this. Yeah, good. I like you being staying back for that there. Um, so an another thing. So this is getting back to what I was saying earlier. As third man, you have to make the decision for your team. So what is your teammate doing right now? Well, he chases the ball. Right. So you don't need to be going for the ball at all yeah. here. I mean, t is your decision to go for this correct? As far as the rotations are going, yes. However, your teammate doesn't know what rotations are. So you have to throw that thinking out the window. If he's going to chase the whole time, you have to let him chase the whole time. There can't really be any exceptions. Um, if um, he's not playing defense, so you have to play defense. You have to put on your big boy pants and just like be the bigger man here. Which sucks, right? It's not fun. But if you want to win, that's what you have to do for solo queuing. Yeah. So right here, there is no... Yeah. Uh, if you want to make a play, you can wait for him to challenge the ball and then play off of whatever happens after that. But you don't need to be going with him there. Yeah, see what he... Yeah, he's just kind of like, whatever. Good. Good. I really like this booth... Uh, this pathing path in here, you're grabbing the boost pads on the way to the, the net. That's extremely helpful. It will help you in higher ranks. Even though you got scored on, not your fault, right? He's plat, I guess, or something. I don't know. But, okay, this this follow here, by the way, is good. This is good distance. Um, uh, Because he's not flipping and he's just boosting, he's not getting supersonic. So this spacing here is totally fine. Nice, that's really good. Good aerial. I like how you flip to it too. Oh hey. Oh close. 
Oh, you could. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. It's okay. I think he was letting you have it, but this is also fine. Good. That was great spacing, by the way, and great positioning. Thanks. Okay. Uh, um, sometimes I think uh, I'm the last man, and then I uh, I prefer to go to the goal um, or defense because if we double commit, uh, it's a bad position. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And you're you're playing it very well. Okay, you're, that's good. Here you flip too early though. Um, whenever you initiate the flip, you want the front, you want the bumper of your car hitting the ball. You have the top of your car hitting the ball. Now, if your goal is to redirect the ball off a of face off, this is fine. But I know that's not what you're trying to do and you don't need to be doing that at this level anyway. You want to try to hit the car, the, um, I don't know if you know this, uh, I think Rocket Science has a video on this, but um, the different parts of your car have different in, um, impulse levels. So if you hit the ball with your wheels, like the, like the bottom side of your car, it has a lower uh, bounce rating than the bumper of your car. Uh, the bumper of your car, the front bumper of your car has the most, um, then the sides have the second, and then the top of your car is the third, and then your wheels are the last, I believe. But uh, I know for a fact that your bumper has the most and your wheels have the le least, and then everything else is like something in between. Yeah. So I would recommend not hit doing this. Uh, I would recommend hitting it with your bumper and flipping into it with your bumper. You'll get a lot more power. Um, that might have been what you were trying to do. If so, that's, you know, whatever, right? Then it's just, you know, mechanic stuff. I like how you didn't go for boost there. Um, you didn't know what your, the, like, the big boost. Your pathing's really good. Honestly, it's really good for most people at your rink. Um, okay, this is okay, because you don't know what he's going to do. He might bang it, he might not. And teammates should be pressuring this like crazy right now. Um, right here, this is a kind of, uh, it's okay because again, the ball has low energy. Um, but you really should practice like getting like, if not like, uh, if not like right here, like if you're not back post, it's kind of okay. You want to be like somewhere in this area, right? You don't have to be hugging the back post, but you want to be in this like back quarter. That's kind of that's the best for that um, um, as far as rotation like um, let me say one last thing on that actually I'll fly so it like what you should always be doing is coming back here and start here and then if you want to move closer this way you can and then you could post up here and then play it if it's along the wall or something right but you should always try to start here and then adjust your position from there if you want that's a yeah. better habit to get into uh, player view. Yeah. All right. Good. Nice. That's solid. Close teammate. There you go. Good patience here. Let him do his thing. Good. You didn't leave net too early, which is good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was so close, Stannis. It was, good, it was good, though. Your positioning was good and everything. You just didn't put it on target. Uh, see, that sucks, too. That's not your fault. Teammate should have had that. Your teammate is really bad. Okay, no more of this. Ever. No more staying in that. Now, if you're faking the kickoff and you want to do that, sure, but not in solo queue, right? Um, whenever you're here and you are not going for kickoff, like you're not taking the kickoff and you're not following, um, you need to be going for either this boost or that boost in the corner and then going back post waiting in the net. That's yeah. every single time. Do not go for boost and then go up from the play. The only time you need to be doing that is if you're playing with someone who's extremely consistent or you're playing with someone in comms and you're doing like some kind of league play stuff. Um, 
in solo queue, especially at this rank, grab boost and then go back here, back post, and sit and wait and then go out and make the play. <clears throat> um, don't don't grab that mid boost and stay. And another thing too, don't grab this on your way. So don't grab this and then go for a big boost. You've got 30, which is plenty. Just immediately like a uh, power slide, turn and boost, flip, and then go for that big boost. You'll be supersonic and then you're back here, uh, back post. <clears throat> don't grab that boost bet, that's what I'm trying to say. That's something I actually learned not to do as of recent. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, you should have just stayed in that, right? That's if you went for this boost pad here. By the time the ball is coming, you'd be about here right now, and this would be an easy save. I am recording, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, I am I recording. So. <laughs> Just double checking. Double checking. Again, back post first, and then coming to mid. Um, there you go. Good. You don't need to be this inside the net. This you being in the net here is, you know, I'm gonna put in quotes. Okay. Um, you want to try to stay on. See this like big grate here. You want to stay on this line, essentially. Um, you can be in it. You your front tire can be on it, but you want part of your car touching this line. You don't want to be in the net. It's good that you're like not back here. That's solid because that's big no no. But it, you're kind of close to the line, so it's okay, right? I mean, you're diamond, whatever. It's I'm kind of being a little nitpicky, but it's something to keep in mind. Yep. Okay, this is good. Good control. Okay. Nice. Oh, fly to it. Fly to it. Nice. That's good. Love to see it. Okay. So right here, your boost pathing could have been better. You could have gone uh straight for these. If you wanted, you could have gone like this way and then hit the ball. Um but you're just underneath the ball, and these pads are also underneath the ball, and you don't pick that up. No. Okay, it's fine. You probably had time to go for that big boost because you have 23, but that's okay that you don't. Like, I'm never going to say, like, you did something wrong here. Because um, you played position over ball, and you do have a decent amount of boost in your tank. So what you're doing here is okay. Oh, that's awkward. Nice, really good play. Grab that boost and go. Nice, good. So yeah, so right here, uh, just you gotta hold power slide. Um, whenever you're not landing full, full up. Uh, when you're, whenever you're not landing in the direction you want to be moving, um, you need to be holding power slide. Um, and that's you lost your momentum there. Do a good job getting back, and he scores! Nice! Okay. Good! Nice half flip! Okay! That was solid. Um, I would prefer you going to net, even in this situation here. Um, this is risky, because uh, you don't know what kind of bounce the ball is going to take off the wall, and they could just put it toward your net, and then you're going to have to go do this which takes a bit more time than this does. Uh, but, you know, it, the majority of what you did here is pretty good. Please go in the goal. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game is really awkward. Yeah. Man. Okay, good follow here. Nice. Really solid. Good. I don't see you power sliding much. I need to see what your count is after this game. Let me just take a look at uh do you know what ball chasing is? Like the website? Mm, nope. Okay, I'm gonna open your eyes to some cool stuff. I only know uh tracker network. 
Yes, that's also a very handy site, yeah. Uh, Ball Chasing talks about, like, individual game stats, like, in-depth stuff, I no. believe. Oh, no. So you had, right here, you had a lot of time, right? He's, like, not even the net. He's not even whatever, right? You didn't need to jump here. Um, you could have just, like, well, you could have done a couple things. After he missed, you could have gone a little bit wider and got a more straight shot on. This is kind of a panic hit. Yeah, I'm glad you touch it, right? Because otherwise it'd be going the other way. Um, but you had a little bit more time. He's not really challenging. Um, he knows that he's beat, and so he needs to play defense. So you could have used that to your advantage and just taken your time a little bit more. Good. Good pathing here. Really good. Nice. See, see, this is what I mean. It, it, your teammate is kind of like overly aggressive ball chasey. And you adjust your play style a little bit later in the game for that. So I, I think what you're doing here is good. You're taking what I said earlier to heart. Um, a little too late in the game, though. But you're doing it, so that's great. Right? You're adjusting to your teammate. Just took a little while. Good. Nice win. Good. Yeah, this boost grab here is good. Nice. Really good demo. Yeah, just let him take that. That's You did the right thing there. I would say um, after this, you need to go like... Right here, you need to flip. Like as soon as you land and go back. That'll... You have good amount of speed. And that'll put you in good position. Um, it... And but the biggest reason I say that is just due to body language. If you are if he sees you flipping, he knows for certain you are out of there and that he has the go ahead to run at that ball. That's a very good point. Yeah, because you guys aren't on voice comms, like everything is body language, right? So the more yeah. obvious rotations and movements you can do, the better. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a goal. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is not really your fault. Um, I, I doubt your teammate even meant to do that. Um, he might have, but I don't think he did. He got super ball chasey here. Um, right here, it was good that you kind of came out. Highly unfortunate your teammate stayed on the ball here. It's just... Not a whole lot you could do on that one. Uh, I, I guess you could... I, I mean, I guess it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Just be super, super, super passive. But honestly, I probably would have done the same thing. So I don't necessarily blame you there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, again, there. Going for boost. Going back to net. I said it already. You can go for this boost. Yeah, you could have easily gone for this right boost here if you wanted. Um, here in this case, I would get supersonic. I would boost a little bit, flip, and then go for that boost. Because you, you, whenever you're going, whenever you know for a fact that you're going for a big boost, you can completely spend your tank. And there is an advantage of doing that. So even if you are supersonic, you do go faster by holding the boost down while supersonic. And yeah. it's very 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 minor it's almost negligible but if you're gonna get a hundred boost anyway it's always a good idea to boost dump uh just get everything out of your tank on the way there because you're about to have a hundred anyway so you don't want to waste it essentially right so it's okay to burn it all uh but yeah here you could have gone for that boost and then get back into play you had time and it also would have put you more in better position on the wall, because that's where the ball's about to be. Yeah. Uh, decent positioning here. I like how you're facing away from the ball. You're kind of shadowing. That's good, considering your last man back. Um, if you are going to shadow, you need to make sure that you're not under the ball. Um, so right here, you're kind of, well... Under the ball might not be the best term to use here, um, but you're uh, in the same direction as the ball, <clears throat> and you don't really want to do that. You want to 
put like same in uh, football. You want to push the, uh, you want to put the ball to the side of the goal. You don't want to put them in field because that's a better angle to shoot on the net. You want to push them to the outside, so that way they have less of a goal to shoot at. They have to make a pass. They don't have a direct line of sight of the goal, or at least not an easy one, right? So here it would have been better to kind of turn this way and go be more midfield. And so that way they have to put it this way. So um, it forces them to keep it along the wall. If you're here, now it's gonna, they're going to be putting it toward the middle of the field. Um, so if you're playing 1v1s, it's a bit different. Um, because you want to have a lot of like uh, lateral space on the ball. You don't ever want to be directly like in front of the ball. That, because if you turn, now this takes time. Because you basically have to make kind of like a 180 here. If you're off to the side, you just have to turn 90 degrees to make the play. And that takes less time. It's easier to react mechanically. Um, it's just a bit, bit easier, a bit better. Good, nice. I like, yeah, you, the idea was good here. The execution was a bit poor. You probably, yeah, it's just cause like, you didn't catch the ball well. I know that's what you're trying to do. And I like that you're doing it. So don't stop doing it. But it's, you probably could have, if you're just trying to win the game, you should have just like blasted it toward the goal there. But that's okay. Good try on the demo. Nice, this is good. Back post, excellent positioning there. Nice, that's fine. Can you follow it? Good. Really good play. That was a good shift there. Yeah, back post, good. Okay. Yeah, just go. Uh, yeah, you can go for that. Good. Nice. Teammate's not in good position here, though. Right here, um... You're going to be behind the ball here, and it's going to put you out of kind of rotation a little bit. You're probably... Oh, and that happens. Hmm. No, I'm still going to say it. All right. Um, that's... I can't... I don't know why that... Well, it's just because he's bad. That's why. But <laughs> right here when you landed... Um, so the ball's on the side of the field, right? You don't ever want to be in the same column of the field as your teammate. But you want to be one column over right um because it, it doesn't really make uh, there are there's with rocket league there's always nuance there's always exceptions to the rule but for 90 percent of it you want to be outside of the same column so if he's here he's going for the ball you don't need to be here this is kind of useless you know it if you do that now you're rotating back even if the ball goes this way now you're going the same position the ball and you have to do this whole thing um, or you might accidentally like go this way and then if he hits it this way you might hit each other 50 whatever. or you might like accidentally put it to your own net kind of like this guy did back in the corner earlier so it would have been better to one either just go like turn go midfield grab all these boost pads or just turn this way grab this midfield boost over here on the side and then come back so that way you guys actually have like a rotation kind of thing um yeah, it just would have been a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that's good. If this was threes, would have said something a little bit different, but it's okay. Hey, you did score out of it, though, so fuck me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool. Good, you do flip there. Mm. This was way too... Uh, ended up being okay. This could have been bad, though. You just need to be a bit quicker on that. I think you just didn't flip well. Like, I think you meant to flip toward that boost. And you just kind of no. fat-fingered, maybe. I don't know. But that's what you need to do, right? Yeah, this is scary oh, to me. To boost. Yeah, either of those would probably be okay. This is just kind of scary because... He's got to open that shot right now, and it's overtime. Okay. This is good positioning. I like that. Good. Nice. Fly. Do it. Oh, you don't have any boost. Well, good try. That's fine. Yeah, grab that boost. Good. I like that, actually. 
kind of slows it down for your teammate. Yeah, good. Nice. Wait not to go for boost. Grab that. Good. Okay, be patient. Be patient. Don't get too antsy. Yeah, you got too antsy there. Good try. That was a good play, though. Or it was a good idea. Okay, he's doing it again. Yeah, just let him take that. Grab the boost pads here. See, right here, you could have gone the left for boost. That would have been okay. Because it's going, kind of going there anyway. Oh, you do. It just took yourself a second. And shoot it. Oh, do it, baby. Oh, he's going to do it. The unlikely hero. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, it's really... Um, so, you're, I think, honestly, your rotations are are pretty good. Um, I think, um, especially for your rank, I think your, um, your faults are really about your decision making um, and kind of bending the rules of rotations a little bit. Like you don't, you're, you're a little too strict on your rotation rules and I, you just need to be a bit more flexible. That way you can, um, uh, Put more the, the you as a team can have more pressure on the ball when needed. Uh, it's like cutting rotation when he's all the way he's all the way back, um, uh, and it, it let him ball chase if he's gonna ball chase. Um, uh, how often do you play threes? You know, like you hardly ever play threes. Uh, I think thirty percent of my games. Okay, yeah. So or twenty, uh, like. Not a huge amount, but maybe relatively significant. That's whatever. But yeah, like as third man, or like or last man back, it's your job to kind of think like, okay, what does my teammate see? Okay, my teammate sees nothing but the corner, like whatever's directly in front of him if he's on car cam or the ball. He doesn't see, he might not see you. He might not see the other team. So it's your job to to think on that come to a conclusion and act on it quickly. There will be times where like, I see that my teammates like are flipping toward net. And, like we're all flipping towards net and I'm all, I'm behind them flipping toward net as well. And I'll be like, Oh, okay, well we don't all need to be here. So I'm going to go and turn on this because otherwise, you know, then you have three guys in net and that doesn't help because then at my level of play, they're going to dribble it and try to flick or do a backboard double touch bull crap thing. So if you give them time to do something fun, they're going to take it and do something with it. Here, not so much, but the same concept still applies. You're going to give them a free shot on goal, and you don't want to do that. Um, okay, so let me uh, take... Uh, I'm going to actually exit on Broccoli. Exit on Open. Go here. Go here. And demos ballchasing.com mm. Okay, so this is a um, super nice website. Let me log in real quick. I don't know if it's going to make me do a Steam code or not. Oh, it's not. Excellent. Okay. Um, let me go to my replays here, um, and just look at all the ones that I'm in. So this is my profile page on here. Um, you might actually have a profile page, you not even realize it. This is a, basically a stats site. So how many times you touch the ball, how much boost you're using, what part of the field you're in most of the time, pretty much anything you think of under the sun and more is here. Um, so I'm just gonna, so I appear in like 4,000 replays on here. Um, so I'm just gonna look at, uh, this one, yeah, let's look at this one here. Yeah, so this is, uh, uh, this is kind of like an overall tab here. Um, you can go to like, you know, possession, pressure, heat map, the ball, <laughs> how many demos, <laughs> All this kind of stuff. How much boost broken down by team and player? Um, uh, how much of like percent supersonic? How much time in the air? 
Um, so I'm going to upload yours. And we are going to take a look. All right. It sometimes takes a while. So just for fun, there you go. Uh, you can have that there. Let's uh, take a look at your profile. How many replays do you appear in? Oh, you appear in three replays. Cool. Um, so it looks like that was, yeah, this is the latest one. The last one was uploaded in 2021 and the pre previous one was 2020. So, um, and by the way, in order to upload, uh, in order to like be in here, so you've got two ways. You can I either have it auto uploaded with Bacchus mod, uh, every single game be up auto uploaded, or you can, um, um, or you can manually upload them. Like for instance, like what I just did now, replay for coaching. So we're going to go back to this here and take a look. Um, okay. So this is a plat three game. This is probably just because of placements and stuff. Um, uh, let's take a look at the ball. Yeah, it's almost 50%. And what this is telling me here is that no, no one's really taking possession. What team are you on again? You're on red. Yeah. So no one's really taking possession here. It's really just like ping pong, and that's kind of what it is at the rank. Um, more or less, anyway. Um, demos. So you did really good. Um, uh, you had three demos. <laughs> you targeted one guy. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's not a lot of options, right? And twos. That's one or the other. So, um, yeah, it, so you do a really good job here. Um, my rule of thumb is at least two demos a game within rotation, and I think you did that well. You didn't, like, specifically say, I'm going to chase someone. You want to do it with your rotation, and you did that really well. Um, so that was a good job there. We're going to take a look at boost usage. Uh, okay, you are, yeah. Seconds of zero boost is a little high, 56 seconds. Uh, that's almost a whole minute. Um, you do a pretty good job at maintaining. You want to be kind of close, like this is pretty good, like 20 seconds. Um, you want to have this as low as possible. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong person. Oh, you had it even higher, my bad. Still, yeah, yeah that's still way too high. You need to either conserve your boost more or you need to pick up pads more. I think it's probably the first one. Uh, because you seem to pick up pads pretty well. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, you, your uh, amount used on Supersonic is actually fairly well. So you tend to be relatively efficient. Under, like, you want to be as close to 100 as possible. That's kind of ideal. Um, but if you're boost dumping in order to get to 100 base pad, like I t said before, then whatever. Yeah, your pad count here is really good. Big pads here is good. Yeah. Honestly, your boost usage is fine. It's probably, you're probably boosting when you don't need to. And that's, I didn't, whenever I look at a replay, I don't really look at boost usage. I look at like mechanics and rotation. I would have to look back again and, and specifically look out for boost. Um, I'm going to look at it another time if you want, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Let's look at pickup maps here. What do you have? Uh, yeah, that's right here. Here, that's good. Six, four, that's good. That tells me that you're using the lanes well. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Another thing I want you to think of with boost path lanes. Um, oh, did I say Epic Games again? Epic Pen, please. Where are you? Hello? Uh, exit? Epic Pen. Where are you? Okay, there you are. So one thing I want you to think about is not just... Um, so we're going to look here and make this a bit bigger. Um, it's not just the lanes of being like this here or this here, whatever. It's also like you have lanes like this. You have lanes like this. Right, you have lanes almost everywhere. Like you even have like something like this if you want. Um, it they're everywhere. Just you, uh, what you can do is like go on the field if you want and just drive around and say, 
what's my best pathing lane to go from point A to point B? And you can make what a point A and point B whatever you want. But it's something to think about. Like you have more, you could also like do this too. Just you, you, there's so many paths around more than you think, right? And there's pathing to and everywhere. Um, they, but like I said, you do a really good job. Like I'm not really worried about your boost uh, pathing too much. There's something to think about. Um, uh, that doesn't really, oh, uh, is there anything down here? I'm not worried about that for now. Um, That's a very deep website. <laughs> it is. It's really cool. It's really cool. Um, so this here, uh, not ideal, right? You're kind of in the middle here again. Um, I do see it, it's it's heavy here in the middle. And I think the reason for that is because it's like right off the kickoff, right? These guys aren't even back post like at all. So you're doing a really good job here. Um, you're playing kind of like out of your league, I suppose. Um, is that the right term? Whatever. You're playing higher. You're at a higher level than your what you're placed at currently in this this um, rank. So you'll get up. Well, it's like plat three, right? That's where this was probably one of your placement games or something like that. Because you get yeah, like it was plus my first game after after I got winked. Okay, yeah, okay. So, yeah, just a couple more matches and you'll be fine. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's right here on kickoff. I think if, that's like my biggest tip for you right now is other than the double flip here on kickoff, um, which I'll send you the video for right now. Let me do that. So I don't forget YouTube. Um, and then I want to do a verge kickoff rocket league. Bang. This is like, how, how long ago is this? 20, 22 years ago. Still very applicable though. Um, good video. He's got a bunch of good videos too. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, if like you're staying back on kickoff, go for boost, even if you're right here and go back post. Same here. Don't do this stuff. Hey, look, it's kind of a penis. It's about time. There's always one. Uh, Okay, so then the next thing I want to look at here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, like this is pretty low, but that's also plat diamond. That's whatever. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is yours is way higher than I thought, but it's still pretty low. Um, mine's like close to 100, at least 100 every game. Um, what is your, um, let me see here. Can I see? Oh, whatever. Um, what is your, um, uh, controller layout like? Tell me what your buttons are. Um, I use power slide and air wall on L1. Okay. And, uh, jump on X. Okay. And boost on circle. Okay, um, I'm going and to recommend on R1. Oh, oh flipping. Okay. Uh, hmm. I can also uh, I I stream my options. Oh, it's fine. I, I that's I think you're I think you're fine. Um, if you want, um, you can look at um mine here and i'll just kind of send you a link to that um sure whatever let me go back to this hmm. here it is yeah so you can take a look at my camera settings here if you want um so uh you don't have to do this if you don't want to this is personal preference i think what you have is pretty fine honestly I would recommend putting, um, uh, well, how do you hold your controller? Do you have like your index and your middle finger on the bumper and trigger? Uh, or only, uh, index fingers. Okay. So, um, I would highly recommend doing like a hybrid claw then. Um, I would recommend putting your middle fingers on the gas and your uh, index fingers on the bumpers. 
Um, the triggers and buffers is what I meant to say. And, the re there's, a, and there's a reason for that. Um, uh, because we're using controllers, um, and it's kind of the same going like if you were to play an FPS game and like you're going up against PC players, the big, one of the biggest uh, advantages that PC players have for like FPS games is that they have, um, if you have like multiple buttons on your mouse, you have um, one button, well more buttons than that, but uh, you have, each finger has a button. Um, and that gives them an advantage. They can go quickly do whatever they want. On controller, you've got really four, if you hold it like the way you're holding it, you've got um, four fingers to do all of the buttons. And that's not super efficient because some, you might want to press two buttons at the same time. It's kind of hard to do that. Like boosting and jumping at the same time. That's kind of hard to do. You can do it relatively easy because they're next to each other. You can kind of roll your thumb, but it's it's not ideal. Um, so what I what I do is I have power slide on left bumper, boost on right bumper, and I hold my controller like I have my middle fingers on the triggers. So that way I could boost with my right index finger and jump with my thumb at the same time. And that is important for fast aerials later on. You can still do that um, with uh, boost being circle, I think, and jump X. You can kind of roll your thumb. You can still do that. It's not uh, super ergonomic, I guess, but you can still do that. But regardless, I would, um, I would rec recommend putting boost on R1 and putting arrow right on circle because you want to have a finger on a button you use the most all the time like staying there like you want to have um you want to have your finger basically on x all the time because you use it very often you want to have a finger on the gas like all the time because you use it all the time right and you don't want it to leave that spot that's what I would recommend, you don't have to do that, um, uh, but I would at the very least recommend you start using like a hybrid claw. It won't take you that long to get used to. Honestly, it feels more comfortable in my hands anyway, but... Um, right, with index and thumb on the buttons? Um, I would say your index fingers on the bumpers and your middle fingers on the triggers. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. And then your thumb could be like where it normally is, right? Um, highly, highly, highly recommend at least doing that. It'll be a bit more efficient on your fingers um, and you can press more buttons um, at the same time, which is very beneficial. So, okay. Um, so that's all I have, I suppose. Do you have any other questions or anything else you want to go over before we adjourn here? I don't think so. It was very informative. And I think we will have some sessions in the future. Yeah, absolutely. To. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally down for it. It's uh, I, I enjoy doing this. So just uh, just let me know. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and stop the recording. Goodbye.